With a large crowd on hand, San Francisco's Year of the Tiger celebration kicked off in the heart of Chinatown in a festive, happy, and grateful way. KTVU's Tom Vakar covered today's opening event, which culminates with the Chinese New Year Parade. America's oldest Chinatown kicked off the Lunar New Year on Monday to a huge sunbathed crowd. The tiger got brave, confident, energetic, and tigers are known to take on a challenge. Everyone's invited to the weeks-long celebration. This is it. Everybody be brave, not stupid. I got my mask on. You wear your mask too. The last Chinese New Year's parade here was in 2020, just before COVID shut America down. For well, two years of unwanted hibernation, right? So what now? We really want to have a warring comeback with the, li with ti the year of the tiger. It's been a tough two years. In the face of a global pandemic and unprecedented acts of hate, our Chinese community has shown the world what it means to be strong and resilient. The safest, least transmissive community in all of San Francisco, which in turn is the safest community in the state of California. So let's stand united uh, and make sure that we really bring the excitement back to San Francisco and Chinatown. The Chinese General Council passed on China's best wishes. I wish everybody a happy new year. Enjoy peace, health, happiness, and good fortune in the year of Tiger. And his legendary honor, the former mayor, Willie Brown, beloved in this community, made a New Year's prediction. It's the year of the Tiger. That now means that Cincinnati is going to beat Los Angeles in the Super Bowl. Six tiger statues have been placed around the city to allow folks from near and far to take a picture with the tiger. The live New Year's Chinese parade is on the 19th. Tom Vakar, KTVU Fox 2 News.